Terrifying moments at a Delaware daycare when a worker found children putting bags of heroin mm. into their mouths. Now, police say it happened after Ashley Tull sent her child to school with hundreds of bags of the drug. Brad Bell live in Selbyville, Delaware, with what happened and why some are defending the mother. Brad. Well, some are defending her because this is a very small town, they tell us. Everybody knows everybody, and they know that on the mother's part, this wasn't intentional. But others are saying, no, this is absolutely unforgivable. Heroin was being handed out among children at a daycare center, and there was more than enough to go around. Take a look at this photo released by the Delaware State Police. Each of those little bags is a dose of heroin. There are 249 of them. That is what the four-year-old girl carried into this daycare center and started passing out as candy. That could have been a lot of dead kids. John Truitt is a parent. He says what happened at the Hickory Tree Child Care Center is inexcusable. You could have 50 dead kids out here. It could have been that bad because they had enough of it. A teacher spotted what was happening before noon yesterday. Several children mouthing the bags, but none opening. The daycare center owner tells us off camera she is beyond grateful for that. After investigating, police arrested the girl's mother. She is 30-year-old Ashley Tull. She and her three children live in this home across the street from the daycare center. The story is that the little girl's regular backpack was ruined by a dog. The one with the heroin was a spare, and the mother claims she had no idea the drugs were inside. This friend, who didn't want to be shown, is defending Tull. She was a good person. She was a good mother. And this is an incident that happened that she really don't have no, she didn't have no control over at the time. Even so, she's been ordered to stay away from her kids and is charged with child endangerment and maintaining a drug property. I think the parents should be more observant of what is going on with their children. As a parent, I wouldn't imagine how it would be to get a phone call like that. It's, it is heartbreaking. Well, police say their investigation is not over, that's still ongoing, and it is possible that there will be more charges. In Selbyville, Delaware, Brad Bell, ABC 7 News. Amazing. All right, Brad, thank you.